Our next guest wonders if the global economic woes have anything to do with North Korea's antics. Republican Congressman Phil Rowe joining us. Uh, look, it's almost rhetorical, Representative. We know that it worries the world when you start to hear whether it was substantiated or not about troop buildups on borders. But how important is the timing of what's been going on with Korea and what we're seeing with our markets? You know, Liz, I, I don't know. I, was, I served in Korea near the DMZ at Camp Casey and Camp Bradley uh, years ago. And I've been through these times when the saber rattling occurred in the north. And, and it was just after the Pueblo incident years ago when I was there. And this is not anything new for this regime. And, and it's scary because this is a regime with, a nu with nuclear weapons. And that changes the whole equation. And I, I think the market, I was listening, y'all did a great analysis. I like the medical metaphor for banks. Um, but the, the problem that you have there is you have an irrational leader. Markets like stability, and if something were to happen, if this ratchets up, if it does, I think it hurts the market worldwide. There's no doubt that it does. I don't, I don't want to minimize the threat because he is a nut and he's got nuclear weapons, and that's a huge threat. However, uh, China controls or could control so much of what North Korea does. China, of course, owns so much of the United States debt right now. It's in their interest to calm these fears. What is China doing? What should they do that they're not doing? You know, that's a great point. And we've said for years that China really has North Korea on a leash, and they should, they should rein these people in. I mean, you have in the South, it's a tremendous story to tell. When I was there 30 plus years ago, there was a military dictatorship. Now you've got a freely elected government democracy with a market economy that's thriving, except for this, except for this nut uh, above yeah. the 38th parallel. And so, China should be in there, reining them in. I think we are working with them behind the scenes. Certainly, the United Nations has a role here. But this is a rogue nation that's how, out there with a nuclear weapon. How worrisome, Representative, is it? You know, there is something different this time around. Although the saber rattling has been going on for decades, what's different yes. is that Kim Jong Il is very ill. That's the that, those are the reports that we're getting. He wants his son reportedly to take over. So there are all kinds of theories that he blew up this uh, the submarine so that he could get the warhawks on his son's side, and therefore that transfer of power would be smooth from his perspective. Doesn't that up the ante? as far as the violence and the concern and the psychological violence uh, really kind of weighing on the globe? I don't, there's no doubt about it. You've got to put yourself in a, Liz, great point. You've got to put yourself in the, in the shoes of the South Korean people. Their country's been attacked. They had a, a ship with 46 sailors lost and, and clearly was torpedoed. At least an independent panel feels it was torpedoed by the North Koreans. Now, why would anybody in a sane mind do that? I don't know the answer to that question. Congressman, how would they deliver their nuclear weapons? I mean, if, if they the really push comes to shove and they go the distance because they are nuts there with their nukes, how would they deliver it? With a missile and how would we respond? Well, I think uh, certainly a missile, uh, airplanes, missiles, the thing that, that folks that haven't been there and looked at that continent, Osan Air Force Base is south of Seoul and you can be from wheels on the ground to North Korea in about four minutes in a, in a plane. It's a very short window of time because uh, I mean it's not just 40 miles from DMZ to Seoul. So it's not very far at all and, and I, that's the delivery system. I hope they're just saber rattling. I can't get in that guy's head. Makes no sense. I said it. it also tells you that you do not want another rogue nation. That would be Iran with a nuclear weapon. Right. But should we respond with nukes if they use nukes? Oh, I can't answer that question. I think you keep everything in your hip pocket. You, you pray and hope that that never ha uh, happens. Representative, uh, thank you for joining us and thank you for your service in Korea. We do appreciate that. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Dave. Thank you very much. Now let's go to Robert Gray in the newsroom for today's top headlines. I'm Robert Gray. Here's your Fox Business Brief. The market's fighting their way back off the session lows today. The Dow rebounding in the final minutes of trading, closing down just 22.